The state rested its case today and now the defense is claiming Griffin grew up in a violent environment and also has a history of mental illness. The last witness called on the stand for the state was Griffin's parole officer. And y'all do IQ tests in the penitentiary? Yes, we do. And Stanley Griffin did not meet the criteria for special needs mental retardation? No, he did not. State prosecutors tried to ask those questions knowing the defense is arguing Griffin is mentally retarded. Stanley Griffin shed a few tears as his defense lawyers spoke about his childhood during opening statements. This, this lack of nature and this lack of nurture in his life okay, formed a person that had diminished control over, his, over his, his anger and his impulses. The defense only called a few witnesses today, including one of Griffin's former employers. Griffin worked for Eddie Smith, helping him around his house with manual labor. He told jurors Griffin called him one night about a week before the murder and was upset about his breakup with Andrea Copeland. I could tell that he didn't know what to do anymore and he was just grasping at, at hope. Was he, was he crying on the phone? Yes, sir. Smith also testified about Griffin asking him for a place to sleep that night as well. Griffin's lawyers plan to bring in neighbors, past school teachers, and even family members next week. At the Brazos County Courthouse, Elizabeth O'Neill, ABC 40 News.